Hi everyone and welcome to the Garden Style channel. In this video, we're thrilled to walk you through each step of the process for setting up your Let Pot hydroponic system, connecting with the Let Pot app, and nurturing your seedlings. Join us as we share not only the instructions but also the gardening tips for an abundant harvest. Don't forget to check out the description. We may have discount codes for you and there's some product reviews and growing time lapse you may want to see. A few tips before we get started, safety first. Make sure to read the manual thoroughly for a smooth setup process. Check for any damage, like cracks or missing parts, before proceeding, and remember to keep all parts away from children to prevent accidents. Now that you've unboxed and inspected your lead pot system, it's time to think about its placement. Let's ensure a suitable location for optimal plant growth. First, choose a sturdy, water-tolerant surface to place your lead pot system. This ensures stability and prevents any potential water damage to surrounding areas. It's also recommended to position the system beyond the reach of children or pets to avoid accidental interference. You'll find the majority of components inside the water tank. First, let's adjust the height of the light panel to accommodate your plant's needs. Simply press the bottom of the telescopic rod and the supporting part of the light panel simultaneously. Now, let's take a look at the components and supplies provided. The supplies provided in the box depend on the let pot device you choose. This is a let pot senior for 12 pods. If you want to grow bigger plants, the let pot max is for 21 plants or two larger plants and is even smarter than the senior model, which nurtures automatically. This box includes sponges, white baskets to hold the sponges, transparent domes also called germination covers, light blocking stickers, supporting rods in case you prefer to separate your plants, and you don't use all the pods, the box includes shade covers, white plastic tags to label your indoor garden, the plug adapter, and the plant nutrients. Now let's pair your Let Pot with your smartphone through the Let Pot app for ultimate control and convenience. With the Let Pot app, you can customize your Let Pot device's settings, control the power, adjust lighting schedules, and receive notifications for low water levels, ensuring your plants stay hydrated. Keep your phone and the Let Pot closing to the Wi Fi router. This may take a few minutes. Click in the right corner to learn in detail how to connect with the Let Pot app, plus a troubleshooting guide. Check this video description for more information. Now, let's move on to nutrient preparation. Proper nutrient balance is essential for healthy plant growth. In your let pot box, you'll find two solid nutrients labeled as A and B, also known as plant food. Let's prepare them according to let pot's instructions. Once both nutrients A and B have dissolved, mix 25 ml of each with 5 liters of water for the Let Pot LPHE model. Be sure to maintain the correct ratio of nutrient solution to water. Now pour the prepared nutrient solution into the Let Pot Hydroponic Growing Systems water tank, being careful not to overfill. The easy access water filling port at the front of the unit simplifies garden maintenance. Just open the lid and pour the water with the plant food. Double check the water tank level to ensure it's at the right level. In this case, we grow lettuce, but we also have a time-lapse growing arugula and basil with really good results. Next up, sowing seeds. Let's get those seedlings started. Place the provided sponges into the white baskets, then insert them into the pods of the growing tray. Plant two, three seeds in each sponge for optimal germination. Choosing the right seeds is crucial for optimal hydroponic growth. Look for good quality seeds. Examine the surface and the texture. Head to the video description for more information about how to select and combine them in your let pot. Cover the white baskets with light blocking stickers and seedling domes to create a dark, humid environment conducive to germination. Remember, some seeds need light to germinate, so adjust accordingly. Turn on the lights and adjust the height of the light panel to the lower position, approximately four or five inches away from the plants during germination. And remember, maintaining an environment with temperatures ranging from 59 to 86 Fahrenheit degrees. So from 15 to 30 Celsius degrees is crucial for optimal plant growth. Don't forget to choose the correct growing mode. You can choose between vegetables and herbs mode or flowers and fruits mode. You will see the change of color of the grow lights when changing growing modes. 
Unlike other hydroponic systems that rely on preset lighting intervals, the LetPot app empowers you to customize your lighting schedule with exact on and off times. Now that your seeds are sown and your plants are growing, let's dive into seedling care and maintenance to ensure healthy and thriving hydroponic growth. First up, let's talk about replenishing nutrients. Depending on your let pot system and plant needs, you'll need to replenish nutrients every two to three weeks. The frequency may vary depending on what you're growing and how big your plants are. Drain the unit to replenish nutrients is very simple. There's no need to invert the unit. There is a stopper at the back of the unit. Simply remove the stopper to drain the water effortlessly. Maintain a distance of approximately four to five inches between the lead lights and the tallest leaves to prevent heat stress. As your plants grow, you may want to harvest, pruning and eating them for there, or you may want to transplant them into a larger hydroponic system outside pots or in ground. You can start seeds hydroponically ahead of time and then harden off your seedlings and transfer them outside, or move them to a larger hydroponic system, or simply have your greens and herbs in your kitchen growing there for you. When you see visible white roots extending from the sponge, it's time to transplant. You can safely transplant the plants with the sponge intact, providing a seamless transition from hydroponic to soil-based growing environment. We may have a discount code available for you, so head out to the video description of this video and the links related. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Until next time, happy hydroponic gardening.